In this video, we're going to be learning about degrees, radians, and angles. We will also talk about how to convert degrees to radians and how to convert radians to degrees in Python. So just to refresh our minds, degrees and radians are used to measure angles, and an angle is a measurement of rotation. So in degrees, you'll have an angle anywhere between 0 and 360 degrees, and in radians, you'll have an angle from 0 to 2 pi radians. So just as a side note, scientists, programmers, and even engineers often use angles measured in radians, and this is just because the majority of people find it more effective compared to degrees. So now let's quickly talk about how one radian looks like. So angle measurements in radians is basically one radian is equal to an angle made by one radius. So basically, if we take one radius, which is half of the diameter of a circle, and if we line it up to the circumference of the circle, then that is equal to one radian. So one radius is equal to one radian. So how many radians will actually fit into a full circle? So if you keep putting the radius along the circumference, and at the end, you'll have 6.28 radians. This will work for any type of circle, whether it's small or it's huge. It will always be 6.28 radians. So now we're going to look at a quadrant of how degrees and radians look like. So as you can see in this quadrant, so 0 or 360 is basically one full, and then 0 or 2 pi is one full for radians, and 360 is for degrees. And so in the circle here, you can see that 0 to 90 to 180 to 270, and back to 360. And for radians, it would just be uh, 0, then to pi over 2, then to just pi, which is 180, and then to 3 pi, which is 270, and for 360, it would just be 2 pi. So this is just a quick summary of how degrees and radians look like. So now for our Python part. So I'm first going to be starting off with the conversion from degrees to radians. So I already have all the code over here, so I'm just going to explain what each line of code does. So let's start off with the top. So we're first going to be importing a library called math, and this math library will help us with our conversion from degrees to radians. So here we're going to be asking a user to input a degrees number, so a number in degrees or whatever, and we're just going to create a new variable called number, and we're going to assign an input for enter a number in degrees, and we're going to just put that as a float, and we're just going to be letting the user import any number from 0 to 360 and next we ha we're going to be doing this conversion so this is where our conversion actually happens so we're just going to create a new variable called radians and that equals to number.math.pi divided by 180 so essentially to convert from degrees to radians over here you can see that it's 180 degrees is equal to pi radian to convert all we have to do is multiply this number that the user imports and multiply that by pi divided by 180 and essentially from there we get our actual value of radians and then from there we're just going to be printing the number in radians is and then comma radians because this is our value and it should just print out our actual radians value so let's just test this out to see how it works so i'm just going to quickly run this and open this up so here it shows that enter a number in degrees so if we remember that 180 degrees is equal to 3.14 the value of pi so let's try that one first so 180 degrees, and this should give us 3.14 and a few more numbers after that. So let's just enter, and it shows the number in radians is 3.14 and so on. So now let's try another number. So let's just run this again, and enter a number in degrees. So let's do 360 this time, which should give us 6.28 radians. Yeah, and here we get the number in radians is 6.28. And now let's try one more time. And let's just do a random number this time. Let's just do maybe, let's just do 45 this time. And we can see that the number in radians is 0 0.78 and so on. So this is basically how you convert from degrees to radians in Python. So now I'll be going over the code for converting from radians to degrees. So essentially it's the same code as converting from degrees to radians. It's just that some of the formulas have changed. So I'm now gonna explain what each line of code does once again. So if we start back at the top, it's just the uh, same library, import math, and the library helps us with our conversion from uh, radians to degrees, and it's going to help us for our value with pi as well. And down here, now we're going to be, instead of uh, saying import a number in degrees, we're saying import a number in radians, and we're just going to do everything else the same. So it's still a float number, it's still input, and we're naming the variable as number. And after that, this is where everything changed. And this is where we're actually converting from radians to degrees. 
And the formula for converting from radians to degrees is basically degrees times pi divided by 180. So we just take our number in degrees, and then we multiply by pi and divide that by 180. So if we do that, then we get our number in degrees. So then we're just going to make a new variable called degrees, and we're going to say that number times 180 divided by math.pi. So we're basically taking the number that they inserted here, which is the radians number, and then we're multiplying it by 180, then dividing it by pi, and that's how we get our actual degrees value. And then from there, we're just going to print out the number in degrees. So let's try to see how this works. So let's just quickly run this and open this up here. So enter a number in radians. So if we remember that a full circle in 360 degrees is actually like around 6.28 radians. So if we just put 6 6.28 radians, then we should get around, yeah, 360. So almost around 360. There is a few more decimal points, but yeah, this is close enough. So 359 and so on. So now let's try another number to see if it works again. And if we remember that 3.14 is equal to 180, which is in degrees. So if we do 3.14, it should give us around 180 degrees. So 3.14 radians is equal to 179.9 degrees. So yeah, basically the same thing as 180. And it's just because we're missing some decimal points for the pi value. So now let's just run our random number and try this once again. So if we run this again and make this bigger here, so let's just enter any number, so let's just say 1.57, and this should be around 90 degrees in degrees, so let's just enter this, and we get almost 90, so 89.9, so that's basically 90. And we can try any other number uh, that is lower than 6.28, and it will give us, and now we can, just know that you can also, so that's basically it for converting from degrees to radians and converting from radians to degrees in Python. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't mind to drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.